Hello friends, it's Madame Fromage. As we move into sweater weather, I just want to share a cheese that I think is so cozy. It goes with everything, including red wine. So I'm going to pour myself a glass and tell you a little bit about it because if you were coming over later for dinner, this is the cheese that I would set out for you along with a few snacks that I've pulled from my cupboard. So it's Pecorino Toscano from Tuscany and a few municipalities around it where the sheep graze. If you know about Pecorino, you know that the word pecora in Italian means sheep. So anytime you see a Pecorino, it's going to be a sheep's milk cheese. Pecorino Toscano is distinct because it's from around Tuscany, as I mentioned, and two municipalities, Lazio and Umbria. If you are someone who thinks of pecorino as a grating cheese, just know that not all pecorinos are created the same. So if you went around Italy and ate a pecorino from different regions or from the islands of Sardinia or Sicily, they would taste different. And what's distinct about pecorino toscano is its sweetness. It is a table cheese. It can also dance with tannins. So this is an opportunity to bring out your Tuscan red or even tea, if you're a tea drinker or a cup of chai, great with Pecorino Toscano. I'm going to try it with you here, tell you a little bit about what to look for, and then how to enjoy it with friends this fall. Oops, let me get a slightly bigger piece. Now you always want to smell a cheese before you taste it, because so much of what you experience as flavor comes through the aroma. And whenever I smell this cheese, it always reminds me of smelling buttered popcorn. It's got a butteriness, it's so, uh, like, almost like um, if you think of clarified butter. And then just a little bit of nuttiness. Mm. Lovely. Very balanced. And like I mentioned, it's sweet, like sweet cream butter. And just very gentle. It's a sort of cheese you could put out and nibble it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's also a cheese with a deep history, extends back to the Romans, even Pliny the Elder referred to Pecorino Toscano. So for those of you who are history buffs, if you want something with ancient roots, Pecorino Toscano, great cheese to go for. Okay, here's what I would put on the side. I love Pecorino with olives. You get a little bit of salinity. I love a plump green olive. I'll just mention, also just mention, I think this cheese is terrific with a martini, a gin martini with a couple of olives, even a dirty martini. I also love to play off the nutty nuts in a cheese like this with some nuts. I just happen to have some almonds here in my cupboard. You can put out walnuts, pistachios are also wonderful. I love to play off the sweetness with some dried fruit. I've got some apricots, but you could use dried figs, dates, even just some raisins. I always love a little fresh fruit and right now, we're at the end of the season of these mirable plums here at the farmer's market in Luxembourg. So I picked up some of these. And if you wanted, you could also do some berries. In fact, for breakfast, I just had some raspberries, a little bit of tea, <laughs> broke out this Pecorino Toscano, and some honey. This is a marvelous cheese with any kind of honey. So think about rating your cabinet. If you have an unusual honey, a buckwheat honey, acacia honey, a pine honey. So beautiful as we go into like the winter season. Try drizzling it on Pecorino Toscana. Just cut yourself a nice thick slice, drizzle some honey on there. And then you can even add uh, a nut and make it sort of like a little aperitif or um, a rosemary sprig. Pecorino Toscano, I always think is great with anything herbaceous. So an herb cracker, rosemary bread, absolutely beautiful. This is also a cheese that pairs well with dark spirits like a whiskey. So if you're going away for like your last cabin weekend or something, a fall, consider taking this with you, take some whiskey, make some popcorn, roast some chestnuts. Just feel like this is a cheese that can fit in anywhere. It's also a great cheese board cheese because it's gentle and everyone likes it. What you should know when you go to the store is that Pecorino Toscano is sold at a few different ages. Just know that fresco, Pecorino Toscano fresco means fresh, so that's on the young side, it's gonna be very pliable. And then stagionato, meaning like along in its age, you know, aging stage, stagionato means probably you know six to 12 months old. And that 
gives you a little bit more concentration of that buttery herbaceous taste and it's also drier. Again, I would not grate this cheese and I wouldn't melt it because sheep's milk in general tends to get very oily when you melt it. I would set this out on the table, I would take it to the park, I would enjoy it on your stoop and I would just see what it can do. It's sort of like the ultimate cheese that like befriends everything around it. It's always a pleasure sharing a favorite cheese with you and having a little sip. So thank you so much for watching, for following along my cheese adventure. I just want to thank my sponsor of this series, which is I Love Imported Cheese. Every month they allow me to pick a different cheese from around the world from their huge list on their website and just put together some ideas for you. If you try Pecorino Toscano, by all means, let me know how do you like it and what are you pairing with it. Friends, happy fall. Cheers. <laughs>